Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we are in the middle of the FabFitFun Summer 2021 box customizations and add-ons. And this is my box customizations video. I already did a video about the add-ons and what's in my cart. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave the link in the description box below. I already did that one. And this is my box customization choices video. And these are the Nectar blue light blockers. I thought I would put them on for this little intro so that you could see them. I talk about them more in the video. So what I do is I record my computer screen so I can show you everything and we're gonna get into doing that right now okay let's go through my box customizations so here's the first page okay so what I have chosen I really as I said in my um, add-ons video I really do like the choices for this box so I have four things picked for the first customization I mean it helps that they now have so many choices for these options but um, I picked this wrap uh, mainly because I don't have anything like it and we go to Hawaii a lot it looks really versatile and also it's made of 100% viscose and honestly anything that I have felt that's made of 100% viscose has felt really high quality really soft has like a nice weight to the material and it's really really pretty I just I like it I'm drawn toward it so I want to go ahead and grab this it's a really good price for what it is it looks like so I'm excited about that and I'm grabbing this we actually got something like this at Costco recently and it's super useful and we just discussed getting another one so might as well grab this one I think the one at Costco was $20 at least so this one for an extra 15 I might as well grab this one so this was something my husband and I already discussed getting and it looks great especially now that we have a baby and another one on the way great for going to the park or the beach and I am late to the party I have never tried I don't own the PMD clean so I am finally gonna be part of the club so I'm grabbing the PMD clean and again this just like looks like a really practical tote for going to the beach or poolside whatever it looks um it looks awesome so i'm gonna grab this for um as a beach tote as well um something the mom in me uh now has awakened a desire for <clears throat> totes i think so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this because i think that's also a great price retail 80 bucks I um I have this towel from a previous box and it's actually white now because it has just been in the sun for days on end <laughs> and it totally turned white the sun bleached it but that was my fault um and then I don't know I don't remember um what I learned about this. Oh, founded by beauty influencers. That was, that's what I was trying to remember. And it says it right here, um, that this was a brand founded by beauty influences, Mariana Hewitt and Lauren Gores, Ireland. I've actually never heard of either of those. And I am one to check out social media, uh, daily. So I'm surprised I haven't heard of them. Um, and I think it is available on Sephora or, and or Ulta. And I did, I did see some people excited about it. For the next one, uh, this one, I am going ahead and getting this cooler bag. I feel like my husband has a couple of coolers. I don't have any coolers though, and it's really, really cute. So I think I'm gonna get this. Um, I'm hanging on to it because I think, yeah, limited supply. I may not get it, but it looks very useful to go along to the beach and pick and parks as well and then I think this 90 is kind of cute at first I, I didn't and then the more I looked at it the more I wanted it so now it's in my in my box of choices as well I'm getting my pregnant sizes because I figure I probably won't get down to my size 10 that I usually am until after I'm done breastfeeding this next baby and I'm 18 weeks. So I'm going with this size. I am about a 12 to 14, I would say right now. Um, so definitely picking this size. Okay. Oh, let's see. Wait, do I know anything about the other options available here? 
I don't. I don't know anything really to speak of about the other options. Not offhand. Uh, okay, let's see. I initially was really excited to get the Super Goop. I have seen so many positive things said about this brand. And then I looked into it and this is not a, a mineral sunscreen. So it's a chemical sunscreen, which I avoid chemical sunscreens. And this particular one, it uses avobenzone, which <clears throat> itself isn't a harmful chemical. Um, and it is an ingredient that uh, I read this a couple days ago. It's an ingredient that protects particularly against UVA rays, uh, against other UV rays as well, but UVA rays. And those are the rays that are supposedly um, most uh, harmful to our skin as far as making it look aged. So um, that's a good ingredient for that. But the problem is with avobenzone is that when it's exposed to the sun, it becomes ineffective within 30 minutes or after 30 minutes at about 30 minutes, it lasts 30 minutes. And so in order to make that last longer, they add an ingredient called octocrylene. And that ingredient is an endocrine disruptor. So it can be really bad for our system. So that's why that's one way that chemical sunscreens can be harmful to us and i don't want to i don't want to use it so i was kind of bummed to learn that because i initially was super excited to try the super goop and i'm not going to be getting it now um, because of that but that aside it does have excellent reviews and super goop is really well loved I have these Nectar blue light blockers and I love them. They're very lightweight, so that's great. And I do recommend blue light blockers because I um, I just find them to be really helpful, especially with eye strain in general, and then especially using them at night if you're somebody who gets on your computer and you kind of get hypnotized by the screen. I find when I'm using blue light blockers, I don't get that hypnotized feeling. I can easily turn off the computer and just go to bed or put down my phone and turn out the light and roll over basically is what what I mean by that um okay so and then I I do this is probably this AG hair care recoil I always say AG hair care it's AG hair recoil curl activator is probably hands down the best specifically curl um Okay, how am I trying to say this? The best hair product I have used that's specifically formulated for curls. So this is really good stuff. Like I would bet that she actually did use this product. This girl right here and her curls look like that. Um, I have done a video. I did a video a couple of years ago about how I do my curly hair. And this was the product I used in that video. I'll try to remember to link it below. <clears throat> But I've done a couple of review videos on Recoil. It is a great product. I was happy to see it start showing up in the sales. Okay, um, I haven't tried the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, but I see people saying really good stuff about it, and I like the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day line a lot. I am going to go ahead. The only thing that I... I I'm not getting it, though, because I have a ton of dry shampoos. I'm not getting the Recoil because I have, like, two or three giant pump bottles in my stash of it. So I'm already stocked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick this water resistant pouch because this is the only thing that really appeals to me in this choice. And excuse me, and I'm sure it will come in handy. Um, and then I don't know anything about the rest. I know Corksicle. I have a Corksicle um, water bottle. It works really, really well. I have a Malin and Getz facial oil that I find to be really, really lovely. Uh, and I don't know anything about this bubble, bubble bar thing. Um, I don't know. I really don't know anything about the products available here. I don't need anything like these products. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing. I love puzzles. I love puzzles. So this is this is perfectly fine. I'll grab this. It looks great for, you know, long car rides or 
whatever. I love puzzles. So I'm happy with this. I'm not, I'm not too upset, but the rest of it, I just don't need any, I don't need a setting spray. I don't need vitamin C serum. I definitely don't need a shimmering glow body oil, even though I love the idea of them. I have like a few and I just never, ever wear them ever, ever, ever. Okay. Let's see. Dr. Brown, I mentioned in my add-ons video, I try to buy a cruelty-free as much as I can. Dr. Brown is not cruelty-free. I was kind of buying this, and then I just decided, you know what, how often, I never get sunburns. I never get sunburns, and if I ever do, once, once every few years, I'll just buy some regular old aloe vera. I don't need that. Um, the mented lipsticks I was intrigued by but again if you see my add-ons video I am just I am a sucker I'm a sucker for liquid lips that are long lasting and transfer proof and so therefore I have so many and I do not need them so I didn't even look at these for that reason because I didn't want to get tempted and end up getting them so I'm going ahead and getting this super cute lemon melamine tray melamine is um, I think it's dishwasher safe. It, uh, it says it doesn't say so, but I believe melamine is just dishwasher dish dishwasher safe, and um, you know you can take it outside because it will be shutter resistant because it's it's like a plastic. It feels like plastic, but it's different than plastic. I'm not exactly sure any of how it works, but I know it's good for outdoors and I believe it, the, the deal with melamine is that you, it's dishwasher safe. Double check. Let's double check. Let's double check that. I don't want people putting it in the, um, yeah, let's see. Microwave. Um, thought I'd find a quick answer. I don't want to read a whole article. Well, the FDA said you shouldn't do it. It's a plastic resin. Okay, so it is plastic. shouldn't be used in the microwave. It could cause chemicals to leach into the food, okay. Then if it shouldn't be used in the microwave, I probably wouldn't want to put it in the dishwasher either. Why did I hear some, I heard good things about melamine, but I think that it's just like any other plastic, it looks like from this little search. Let me know, let me know in the comments below. What do you know about melamine? Um, I would love, I wish I had, um, explored this more before I started this video so I could break it down for you but um it seems like it's just like any other plastic resin but it's still a super cute tray good for outdoors and then I really really didn't know what I wanted to do here <laughs> um right now I think I have oh I have the I um I gels and the Kate Spade workout socks selected. I'm not excited about them. I may change to the Erno Laszlo and Skin & Co. cleanser bundle. Erno Laszlo is not cruelty free, but um, and I have the Skin & Co. cleanser in my stash, but it has really great reviews. So since I have it in my stash, maybe I won't do that. I don't see myself ever using these socks. I don't know. This is the only. This is the only um, selection that I don't really want anything from it, which is really good. Usually there's a couple where I feel that way. So those are my customization choices currently. I don't think that they'll change. Um, I'm not getting any refills. I Let's see if I know anything about it. I matte balancing moisturizer that's for oily skin. So... I've never used it, so I wouldn't, I don't know anything about it, but I have used Grown Alchemist moisturizers and I like them. Paracone MD, I have not read positive um, opinions about just the brand in general. I've heard that a lot of 
people say that it's just overpriced crap and per Dr. Paracone doesn't really know what he's doing, but then there are some people who really love the stuff that they make. So that's all I can say about that brand in general. Dr. Brenner, again, not cruelty free, so I try to steer clear, but I do know that people have said wonderful things about this cream, this face cream. So if you don't really care about the cruelty free thing, um, people have said great things about it. Oh, holy smokes, look at that price. I don't know. I've never used it myself though. I've just said good things. So, um, and then again, this is also a really, um, oh, I don't know about the cleanser. Their, their exfoliator has good reviews. So I don't know. I don't know about that one. This is the facial cleanser. Okay. So I have used this. Um, it is, I have dry skin. It's a little bit more drying than I would like. Gel cleansers can be iffy for my dry skin. I need, I need to steer towards milky cleansers. Um, and the smell, I think I mostly smelled bergamot, bergamot and a little bit of rose. I didn't love the smell either. This one didn't work they didn't work out great for me. It was okay. Um, I love a lot of Grown Alchemist stuff. And that said, I think I've seen more positive reviews and very few negative reviews about this facial cleanser. I don't think, I think that most people disagree with me from what I've read on the forum. I don't know anything about that. Nothing about that. This retinol serum is amazing. It is, I think, the only retinol serum I've ever used, but I thought it was great, especially like if you're a beginner with retinol. It was fantastic. The only thing that bugged me is it smelled like lemon verbena, which always reminds me of lemon pledge, but no big deal. I still used it up. I liked it a lot. I can't wait to be done with making babies and breastfeeding so that I can use retinol again. If I weren't in that position, I would totally get this. Um, I really enjoyed using it. I used this, the Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum, and I feel like it did zilch for my skin, but that said, I have used many brightening serums and I have never seen results from any of them. So it wasn't just that this one, maybe I'm just a tough client when it comes to that. I don't know anything about these things. I haven't tried this Grown Alchemist product. I have not tried it. I have tried this one. It's also available in the add-ons and it is a very nice body cream as far as body creams and moisturizers go. The thing about it, and most people absolutely love it. I didn't like it because I picked up the mandarin scent more than the rosemary. Some people say it smells more like rosemary. I picked up the mandarin much more and it smells like creamsicle to me and I have learned that I do not like creamsicle scented products. <laughs> I just don't, I, I, yeah, so it wasn't passed for me. I ended up trading it with somebody who really likes it um, from the forum. We did a trade. And then I don't know anything about these last two products. So I'm not getting any refills. I love that they're doing this and I love that they're adding more and more products to the refill program though. That's really awesome. And then I'm not getting any boosts and I don't really know anything about the stuff in these boosts. They have a glow recipe product, which is pretty cool uh, in this little bundle here. Um, but I, I don't know anything about that particular product. And that's it. That's what I am getting in my customizations. Let me know what you're getting in the comments below. I um, hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I would love that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.